Good morning from the jungle. It's 5 a.m. It rained a ton last night and we've been listening to the howler monkeys for about the last hour. It's been amazing, but really couldn't catch any of their sound on my phone. Mari's getting ready and she and I are about to go watch the sunrise if we can see it with all this cloud coverage from the beach. Good morning, everybody. Such a weird lighting here in our little jungle hostel. I can't wait to see the sunrise though. There comes the light. I like this little clearing right here. Oh, the sun already rose a little bit. We missed it coming over the horizon. I wish I'd had my phone on me when Marshall and I went way over there. We just swam way around the backside of these rocks and then climbed over all of them. So many crabs in there, so much cool stuff to see. Of course, the view over the beach was amazing. We're over here now, way through this little stream here. Mari says, this is the water. Where there's caimans, but I still haven't seen one yet. I've been keeping my eyes peeled. I think this is just as beautiful as the ocean right here. That's where we were, isn't it? When we were on the trail. Yeah. What? I don't see any caimans.
don't know if uh, Michael caught any of this on the GoPro or not. But there's all these beautiful purple flowers. They kind of look like morning glories. And they only, Mary said they only bloom for like a few days. So we got super lucky, if that's true. But they are all down the beach. It's so gorgeous. And then over here we got a bird. Egret maybe? I'm not sure what kind of bird this is. Oh, two birds. I don't know, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Palm trees and mountains, lagoon and ocean, sunrise, rocks that look like they came out of Star Wars all at one time. Can't beat it. It just started raining, isn't that pretty on the water? much these showed up in the GoPro footage last night. It was just... They're exactly the color of the rock. They're so hard to see. The big guy right there. <laughs> Marshall said yesterday, why are Spiders so gross and crabs are so cute. Woo. I don't know, they're a little gross to me. <laughs> Look at them all up there, wow. All right, this is what it's looking like. It is 7 a.m. We've been out here for about an hour and a half now. Took a second swim, all four of us. And breakfast is served at seven. We're gonna at least go get some coffee, pack up and get our stuff and continue on our way for today. Our destination tonight will be Cabo, which is supposed to be only about a 30 minute walk. But we want to swim at some, at least one spot along the way. Not Cabo, Mexico. No. Cabo San Juan. Cabo San Juan. Photo op in the river. <laughs> Codal. They're called codals, not coatals. Marshall says he saw one with a long tail. Long, my gosh, I can't believe I turned the camera on for that. <laughs> it's just a dog with a long tail and he's way in front of us. Was it orange juice? It's like slightly cooler than room temperature, which makes it so good. Mm. That is great. We forgot to take a video before we split it apart, but this is an Arequipe pan. Look at that. It's what is it exactly? Caramel? Way too much game in my face. Uh -huh. We're, we got one for everybody to split. Mm. 
very hot. Is it good? What's it's it like? Good. You got like the heat weed. Mmm. Mmm. I taste it, taste it. Is cheese, is it caramel and cheese? But I mean, dulce de leche. Dulce de leche, like caramel and cheese. I love it. <laughs> this is great. And it's hot, it's warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. All right, eight o'clock. We are headed out of camp. We decided to walk up this river just a little ways just to kind of see what's up here. The water's so cold. Wow, look at this. All these vines coming down. This is so pretty. This reminds me of a setup for a wedding. Look at this, Mary. Wow. <laughs> Should be on Jumanji. That's cool. I think this might be kind of as far as we can go easily. <laughs> it gets rather overgrown in there, unfortunately. It's still a pretty fun little trek, though. You think we can get through that? I think it's less fun packs on and all. Yeah. Can we? Yeah. Should we? Bye. There's a couple of rivers and all we can explore. <laughs> This was a great little hike. All right, onward towards Cabo. This is the hardest part of this walk. <laughs> I have been splattered, splashed, and Mari has slipped and tripped. <laughs> and they've given us nice logs to walk on. We probably should have started on this side. But the logs are right beside this barbed wire fence. And so if you sort of start to lose your balance, you grab the barbed wire fence. Whew. The ones I'm telling you that have the fancy leaves are no papaya. But is that papaya? But those are the fancy leaves. And this here is papaya. Yes. That's papaya. I'm not giving you anything scientific. Go. I don't know for a fact. We're trying to figure out if these are horses or mules. Mm -hmm. The the ears are, are pointier okay. at the top. It's true. Horses don't have that pointy of ears. And his head is a little more st stunted there around the nose. Yeah. yeah. Instead of elongated and round, the lips are. No, well, you're right. You know, Once the, you lose, the tails are goofier looking start, yeah. than a horse's <laughs> tail. Donkey vibes. Donkey vibes. Turns out <laughs> none of us really knew exactly how to tell a horse and a mule apart. Got about four or five percent donkey vibes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And it led to a whole conversation about why can't mules have babies and I guess now we got a lot to look up when we <laughs> We got to look all this up as soon as we get home because I have to know I am burning it with okay. curiosity now. Is this where you want to eat breakfast? Over there. Oh, crab hole. No. Uh, yes, I just saw him move. When my foot got when close. When your foot got close, you kicked some sand in. He's got a couple back entrances here too. <laughs> Checking on what we got for breakfast here. Mari wants a arepa de huevo. There's a lizard right here on this rock. I hope I can, see. oh, look at him. He's like yellow and blue. Boy, I hope he shows up on camera. His head is blue, his tail is blue. Oh, come on, little guy, where are you? Oh no, I've lost Man, him. He's getting it. Dang, he's I lost. There's a little one coming up there. Yeah, he's not near as blue though. Yeah. 
He's wow. Buenas. Buenas. building something new. We are at La Fatina, which is the next place we're going to swim. This is La Piscina. It's another protected by that barrier. So the waves aren't too terribly dangerous. I wish I could take the phone out to show you, but we love to swim out in the ocean and then turn around and look back at all these awesome palm trees mountains. The jungle view. Did I what? Did you show the camera yesterday? Is that the point that Mark was referring to? Oh close? yeah, that pointy rock way over there. Marshall said that's as far as he's ever gone. So I hope we can, I hope we're going close to it. I'm not yeah. sure. Cabo is supposed to be only a 30 minute walk, but um, I don't know if that will take us that far or not. So in other words, we're just not allowed to swim very far out, right? Okay. Can't go all the way out to that coral wall here. Is I think it's just mainly wants us to, if we're going to swim, stick pretty close to the shoreline. That's what we're understanding from the sign. He's <laughs> out the pottery. He's been here for other adventures, you know. I have found not one but two perfect rocks for our chiropractor back in North Carolina and I've lost, uh, in, in Florida, and I've lost both. So this is my current finding. Do any of these scream, Dr. Polly, to you? Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards this one. That's the one. That's where my my yeah? head went the first. Um, Alright, yeah. this one looks orangier under the water. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This one looks whiter under the water. I don't uh -huh. like that. So it's down between these two, and I know orange is her favorite color, but man, that's just such a pretty rock. And it is looks kind of like yeah. over there. Yeah. Can you line up the shot where they can see how much? Yes, I've got it right behind your shoulder. This little bitty rock looks uh -huh. just like that rock over there. Uh -huh. so, you see what I mean? Why this is hard? Yeah. I can't I possibly do. carry two back. I've already <laughs> had two and I've lost two. <laughs> what do you think? I I like the yellow one. The yellow one better. Can you put it in your pocket? I can. I have a zipper on these. Oh, okay. Yay. Zip those up. Those okay. Are, those are for our Florida chiropractor. All right. What do we find? Well, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I'm, okay. I'm going to try to turn where there's sunlight, but there's like billions of little speckles of gold. I think it's mica in the sand. In the pool. The gold. I, think, I think we can. But it's just everywhere. I've not noticed that until the sun came out. Okay. There's some, you see that right there? 
you have some dirt under the water. Yeah. Maybe you can see. Pretty awesome. So Mary just told us that the indigenous people here call this the golden water. Glowing water. Glowing water, sorry. Because of that reason. Let me turn this around. You can kind of see where the sun's starting to come out and hit it. Yeah, there's still there's speckles. It looks like there's gold in here. I don't know if we can show it on camera, but it, it straight up looks like we could pan for gold. <laughs> Jules has my Gasparilla hat. We're trying to stay out of a little bit of sun. I believe today might be the day that the Brevard Zoo video came uh -huh. out. Anyway, I filmed a Brevard Zoo video. Yeah. And I was wearing this hat in the video. And I talked a lot about the Colombian monkeys. And here we are in the jungle and we just saw those monkeys yesterday. Yeah, that's like, really that ironic. Of Coming the only full other circle. Time I've ever worn this hat. I've worn <laughs> it twice in my life, and it's these two times. Look at all these rocks. We're heading to another beach. We're just making our way down the coastline, going from beach to beach, putting on the snorkel and the goggles, and going out into the water to see what we see. And if anybody asks, yes, it's yes. okay to laugh at me. I'm completely covered in sunscreen. No, we're on the equator. It is a uh, reef safe sunscreen. Yes. I have a lot of it on. So we got stopped by these boulders. We can't go any further on the beach. And we're carrying too much stuff to try to t swim around them. So Marshall's gonna run ahead and see if he can find a path over the rocks for everybody. Before we all go climbing up there with all our luggage and gear. Yeah. All right, all right. Marshall took me on a little hike climbing over some rocks. Mari said he found the Aztec dining room. <laughs> Looks like we've had a fire here and some snacks. But this is so cool. We're high up over the beach. Huge boulder over your head. Big boulder over our head. Man, it's kind of scary to think about this rock <laughs> coming down. Wow. Let me show you. I didn't film any of the hike because I was using my hands and my feet to try to do it. But maybe I can show you the hike back out. Isn't that neat? Oh, that was so fun. We were trying to continue following the beach, but we got stopped by these big boulders and we were trying to find a way around them. But I think we're gonna have to hike back to the last swimming hole and go back out on the trail. Oh, if I can get through here. This is the way we came in. And then <laughs> these are the rocks. We just swimming around them with our luggage was going to be too difficult to keep everything dry. And the path through here, a lot of us, including myself, are carrying things in our hands. So we're going to go back the way we came. <laughs> yeah, all the way down. Made it. Made it. Wow. It's only 10 a.m., but it feels like we've had a full day, right, babe? Yes, it does. What have we been up for? Five hours now, I think. Yes. Had three swims, four swims. I've lost count. <laughs> I'll have to check the footage. 
We are all still barefoot in the jungle. <laughs> Just like grandma probably told us not to do. <laughs> what are those? Do we have any idea what kind of nests those are? Birds, monkeys? I like how open the canopy is all the way until the top. Yeah. yeah. It's like, almost like the space. Wow. I wonder all the like, uh, brown stuff is, like nesting materials or just. Yeah. Old nests, maybe? Old nesting materials? So thick of mine. I guess it's that thick by the airport. I see how like, their jungle will be like a. Yeah. Super dim. I'm so nearsighted. Sometimes I like filming because I can zoom in on things. This big old tree. We are walking through its roots. <laughs> Turn this camera around. Humongous root system. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I can stand here. That's in the Wow. Goes on and on. Shoot! It's never gonna show on camera. As good as it looks in real life. I'm just trying to think of what this looked like when it was first growing. It's. Do you think the ground used to be up there and it eroded away? Is yeah. that what happened? Because right look over there. Look at the. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And the tree survived. These, these little stream eroded. It. Wow. Yeah, this little stream of road is that. And that used cool. to be the ground level up there. Okay, probably. Wow. Cool. Nature is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. A tiny little arroyo. <laughs> That's neat. Mm -hmm. We're linking up with it right here. Yeah. Being barefoot, I just feel so strong. Marsha has a more dynamic approach. I'm a more static type of. Ha ha ha. Oh. Can I go through here? This one? It's muddier in that cell. Okay. This one, so there you go. Oh, I'm going to show it to the shoe. Oh! I'm going to put the shoe. Can you make it? Yeah, I got it. We're okay. You're going up the coconuts? Yeah, I'm going up the coconuts. Yeah, I'm going up the coconuts. At least it has some texture to it. Yeah. Ooh. If 
if you go to the beach, leave your footprints, not your trash. Must be getting close to Cabo because we found their horses ready to take people back out when they're ready. All right, we've made it to Cabo. The San Juan. Ah, oh, beautiful. We have tents for tonight. We gotta check in. Oh, yeah. Look, those are the, the species you can find here in the park. There's the wild pig. Pueblito. Avocado. Which way did we come yesterday? Naranjos? No, I'm lying. Calab no, no, no. no. Yeah, here. And we hiked. We hiked all the way up there to La Piscina. Here we go. Welcome to Cabo San Juan. Do we have to swim to get to that little hut over there? Or is there a path? I want to swim to it. we slept the last time. Oh, wow. Okay. I am here for that. Oh, it smells so good here, too. There's so much to bring this water though. I've never seen it. Oh wow, yeah, look how dark. Uh, wow. What happened to it? It's just it's just it's just the uh, debris from the the the, bur the the leaves. If there's like um a little river here streaming out, it's gonna look But it's open. just organic matter mostly. Yeah right? it is, but still. <laughs> it takes out the color. Did he say all those Spanish words and then did he say don't film me? Or was he saying no, another Spanish word? <laughs> I don't know. Ah. Uh, Oh, I want to swim in there. I wonder if there's a caiman in that. Was it? Uh huh. This is awesome. This water is perfect. The sun is out now. This feels amazing. The sun is out Look at now. That view, all those palms and all those coconuts. Yeah, let me turn it around here. This is the best part of Tyrone. Oh. Did you get like Columbia or Columbia tours like Google Images or something like that? Yeah. See, there, probably. Really? Let's put charts over the air. We got more mica as you can see. Looks like a little gold flux. Yeah, good luck. Thank <laughs> you. 
we are laying on our little beach mat in the shade trying to make sure no one's sunburned yet no one needs to reapply sunscreen and we're gonna take a little siesta have some snacks and Mari said this is one of her favorite views in the world just laying underneath the palm tree looking at the sky and you know what I'm gonna have to take a photo because this is so gorgeous Michael and I don't drink a lot, so we wanted something that would taste good. I said we're going to go with a classic Malibu, but this one has... Uh, it's like we're back in high school. It's coconut flavored. <laughs> oh, this is delicious. I love Malibu. Okay, it's a little... <laughs> it's been a while. Long time since I had Malibu, though. Yeah. This is just small coconutty. Yeah, you remember it, huh? Oh, I do. Made with Caribbean rum. Yep. I'm gonna have a little tuna snack and I'm going to dip some of these. Michael found these little cheese, cheesy things at the store. Let's see. I think they're okay. They are. No worries. Yeah. Get I'm gonna dip these in my atun. Chilling. I just had a nice little nap, I think. I think I did too. Now we're busting out the snacks. Murray's always the queen of having lots of awesome snacks. <laughs> See this big lizard right here? Oh, right here. Yeah. Really cool. Can you zoom in? Uh huh. It's pretty cool. A little tour of the beach here. We've got some boats that have come in from Taganga. It's the only other way to get here, unless you're going to hike like we did. You can rent, I think Julia showed you, a mule or a pack horse. However, we decided it was going to be most worth it if we took a walk and hiked. And so I would say total time, if we hadn't stopped for several different beaches, would have been a little over two hours total time. It certainly didn't help being in the rainy season. Julie probably showed you on the video how unbelievably muddy some of this was. So we essentially did the bulk of the entire trail barefoot, which I think was the smartest decision for us to do because we had a little bit better footing, honestly. and. Since we were walking on ground and not really on rock, it wasn't too slippery. So outside of getting our feet dirty, um, it wasn't difficult. It wasn't too difficult. So. so we're about to the other end. And you can see it's gotten a lot more crowded. But we're staying here tonight. There's actually a, an eco hotel that we have rented a tent. 
Marshall and Mary have one. Julie and I have one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so that's where we're going to stay. Although you can see the top right there, at the top of that little mountain, little hill, that is where the hammocks are. And those hammocks is what we had initially intended on sleeping in tonight. However, they were already booked. They apparently booked weeks in advance. So we did get a cabin. Um, it's about 1230 and they open to claim at 230. So we're going to try to get one in the shade and make sure that um, we have a little bit more of a variable in the heat and the temperature. Um, so we'll show you a little more in depth when we get in. One last thing I'm going to zoom in is that rock that we were telling you about on three different occasions. Right there it is in the center of the screen. We're just seeing it from this side now. The water is getting up, so it's making my uh, camera a little a little jostly and unstable. So that is the beach that we are on for the time being. It's really nice. We're back here underneath the palm trees, also getting shade until we want some water. It's that bird from the nature documentary that does the funny dance with his feathers. They're all over the place. If you turn your camera back, they're like dancing. I want to catch him dancing again. We just saw him. He just did his fancy dance. Look how angry his little eyes look. He looks mad. Um, yeah, just keep filming right here. I'm going to hand it to you because you're closer. I think this one in the back is getting ready to start. Yeah, see him shaking his back feathers? The shamans had to prove that they were actually shamans in their town and that they are truly indigenous and like real ass shamans. The guys went out to fetch us fresh deer from the weekend, put some rum in. Like they're coming back with plenty. <laughs> All right, Marshall and I have hunted and gathered hey, fresh you? juice. Oh, we got we pineapple, 100% pineapple. <laughs> so you got a pineapple mustache. Uh, oh, Marshall got pineapple and Mari got um, uh, mango. They were 10,000, 10,000 for a very big cup. And she blended it right there in front of us. I think that's what we're gonna do for a little afternoon drink in the ocean. Pick me up. A pick me up. Mix this with. <laughs> Marshall said they yeah, found the Cayman. He's so small. <laughs> yeah, you can see him. Look, right there. So his whole body is underneath. His whole body is underneath the embankment here. <laughs> Look at that nose. We have nothing like an alligator. Oh, wow. <laughs>
kind of cool. Yeah, I wonder how far underneath. I mean, my feet are right here. How far underneath? How far underneath is he? And how did he back in like that? Great place to watch, pretty shallow. Wow. Now that I see one up close, it's nothing like an alligator, really. <laughs> what a nice place to live. <laughs> The dogs are really, they figured out the caiman was there, so now he had to hide his face, but boy, they have been barking, they're so upset about it. And the crowds are starting to dissipate. A lot of people came in by boat, and they're starting to leave, so thankfully it's not near as crowded as it, as it has been for the past few hours. It's about 2.30, we've all been napping and snacking well, and really being lazy that. and talking. <laughs> Go in after Waiting for this afternoon sun to kind of dissipate them. 3.15, everybody is starving. Check-in started at 2, but we are just now headed back to find out which tent is ours so we can dump our luggage and then think about possibly a meal plan. All right, they're still serving lunch. All right, okay. What you got there, Jules? I have my first guanabana smoothie. Uh -huh. It has no sugar in it, it's just guanabana and water. Uh huh, yeah, pretty yeah, good it view. It has that kind of almost like lemony tart to it, but it's also, yeah. it's not overly sweet and sugary. What is the name Very in much. English? Guanabana? I don't know, I've never heard of it. Sour sour. Sour who? Sour sap. sap. Sour sap? Sour sap. Sour sap. Sour sap. I have literally never heard of it in the U.S. Either. But I had a guanabana pastry two years ago when we were here. <laughs> yeah. I really like this. We bought some on the road, sweet, too, I think. Kind of citrusy that's not super sweet. Yeah. You want to try? I will. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to try. Or do you guys got? Hmm. I don't know how to describe that. It is. It's good though. Yeah, it's not. But sweet. it's almost like a mixture of flavors. It's not just one, one flavor. Very good. All right, dinner is here. Mm. We're eating dinner here, okay. and uh, what did you get, Marshall? Uh, chicken, I think. Which one is it? Uh, I don't know. A la plancha. Ah, okay. Ah. And they have uh, orange juice. We're still waiting on ours. Ours should be the next uh, order that comes. Mango, baby. Mango, 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 not orange. I'll be honest, I don't even remember what I ordered. I believe that it's is, yeah. pollo chicken. con mm -hmm. um, something I could... Atija? Garlic sauce. Atija? With white rice. It was garlic sauce and chicken. And then Michael over here also got a rose con pollo. And that looks really, it really looks good. a lot better than what I'm used to eating <laughs> um, when I ordered that. Mm -hmm. That didn't come out of a bag. <laughs> that was, one was homemade. That was all good? of it. Yeah. The peppers, all the peppers are really good. Chicken with garlic sauce. It's very, very, very garlicky, but it's good. It almost has a pesto y. Look at this green on it. It's kind of pesto y. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good stuff. All right, we just got checked in. We are tent number six. Marshall and Mary are down there at number nine. I'm gonna to try to open this for you. There's two, one to go up. Let me pass that to Yeah, Julie. let me hold this. We can get in. All right. Warm. Have you ever slept in a tent before? Yes. Oh, it's hot in here. 
think we need to look Whew. that way or Well, that'll let the bugs in. Well, we can we can drop that, can't we? The no. back one? Wouldn't drop what? <clears throat> we can Somewhere unzip these. Yeah, yeah, we can unzip these that have mesh. All yeah. Right. All right, here we go. Just going to show you around real quick. Mari's going to put on a different bathing suit. Tons of tent camping over there. That's the restaurant we just ate at. Hammock camping here. And bathrooms and showers are back there. So you have to pay to use the bathroom and the shower. And I didn't bring any money with me, so I'm gonna have to <laughs> show you that another time. Pretty, pretty flower. I was wanting to scope out what kind of a shower I was gonna be getting in the morning or was it gonna be another dunk in the ocean? <laughs> It might be another ocean bath today. All right, we are hiking back to the beach. We're gonna do a little bit exploring past where we were earlier. Oh yeah. The boats are taking more people out and they are wearing life jackets. We saw a boat bring in a whole load that wasn't. And I, I wondered how that could be. getting away from the people just like this. <laughs> I think most of these people had a long enough hike to get to, Ty to Tyrona. They're not looking to climb a little bit further and get beyond, are they? I wish I had brought my snorkel now. Ooh. Okay, there's two people here besides us. Two. We have this all to ourselves, minus two more people. So awesome. Okay, how do you rank this one? Out of the, how many have we even seen today? Is this four? I think it's four. Of swimmable ones, yes. Of swimmable Actually, ones. Actually, no, fifth. Fifth, so, oh. Piscina, Baño, where we were Arida, Piscina, the first Cabo, the second Cabo, and I don't remember the two different Cabos. There's two, okay. There's five. Did we swim in both? No, because I knew, I knew it was you. All right, so yeah. I don't know the fact that there's two other people here. <laughs> we had a, we had that second one almost to ourselves. I'm yeah. sorry, the first the, uh, the first one basically to ourselves if you don't count the people setting up for breakfast. And they aren't bothering me at all. There's just two people over there. Minding their own yeah. Business. There's a couple people way down there. It does feel like the most secluded so far, for sure. It does, and I think there's a lot of overgrowth there. That's Kind of blocking any view too so it kind of makes me feel like the world stops right there <clears throat> a little bit yeah it reminds you to the beach in that famous Leonardo DiCaprio movie La Playa
So we have Marshall and Julie in a plank position, waiting to see how they get shored up here, or if the waves will take them back out to the water. Okay. <laughs> God. That one's gonna get her. Yep. Marshall's at it again. That was rough. Trying to see when the next one's coming. Again. I got the first one. Doesn't that look like the head of a tree or something coming up out of the woods or something out? Yeah. Like a Carol Baskin? Carol Baskin. That was a time. That was a time. What time do you think it is? Have you had a good day? I had an amazing day, yep. Yeah. I'm happy any day I can spend basically the whole day in and out of the water. I think we have, pretty much. All right, it is 5.30 and we are barreling back down the trail towards our hotel, hostel, because we want to catch the sun set. set. <laughs> Had to shoot this clip twice because I wanted to say sunrise. <laughs> Watch the sunset from that if there's any space of <laughs> space left at this late date. Oh, it's been an absolutely full day to see the sun rise and to get ready to see the sunset. It's pretty amazing. I think we've calculated now over 12 hours. We've been outdoors, haven't been inside at all. 5.36 in the p.m. We have had a full, full day. It's kind of come overcast, so I'm not sure how much of the sunset we're going to be able to capture, but we're going to try to get to the top of this little building and see what we can see. Here we go. Yeah. down a little bit just mainly to get away from people not? I think it's power <laughs> oh that yeah that's definitely not a zipline 
Look how close. You put the hum weight of a human body on that. I'm going to hit the butt on this rock. Yeah, that's like cable for electricity for charging phones. <laughs> You're right. There's a huge difference in color. We never got in this side because of how dark it is. We walked over here. You can see how much and cleaner and greener. Usually it's prime blue both sides. None of the sides are as blue as they usually are. Mm. We were swimming over here a couple times today. We never did get in there. And the caiman that we found was right over behind that building right there. And our stuff was laid out right there all day. out now. <laughs> Full day of barking and gaming. Just wore them out. <laughs> okay, well they're alive. <laughs> they stretched. We came over here to take another look at the sunset and uh, unfortunately I stepped right in this this colony of leaf ants which is going way down this hill. If you notice, around the edge, and then all the way over here. And on up through, through there, I'll lose them. Oh, no. They cross that path back there and keep going. I'm not going to go in there after them, but isn't that amazing? Just millions of them. And the one going towards Michael, they don't have a leaf, and all the ones coming towards me, they do. And all the leaves are cut almost exactly the same size. Why don't they build their home closer to whatever tree all this is coming from? It's only 6.15 and I am wiped out. <laughs> well, we, we got started before 5 o'clock this morning. We have been in the sunshine every Hours. single second that it was shining. There yeah. was not one single second of sun up that we weren't out in it, either directly or indirectly. Palm yeah. fronds is about the best shade. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm, I've got it in me to stay up a little bit longer, but man, I, feel, I am whooped. I, am, I feel like it should be 9 o'clock by now. I do too. I do too. We came over here, just check out our view. A lot less people here now. It's gonna be mostly people who are camped here for the night or staying at the Ego Hotel. So gorgeous. But the uh, leaf ants are making their way all along here. And that's the restaurant where we just ate late lunch. It's closed now, getting ready to open for dinner. 
This is where we've been getting our water bottles. I thought you could get fresh juice here, but you can't. So I'm kind of sad. I have to wait on dinner to open to get a juice. I might not get another one. 15 more minutes. Yeah. And then there was our lookout point where we filmed our sunset time lapse. I was going to say sun worn, water worn, Exercise, walking, a ton, worn. Yeah. Swimming. We've done, I lost I think count. We've done I lost everything. count how many times we were swimming today. We got everything yeah. today. Yeah. Thinks it's late enough. Start making it way out. <laughs> These waves have been coming way up over his head. I hope he's prepared yeah, for what's coming. I wanted to see the water hit him Man, and see what happens. He kind of, it's like he knows where they're going to stop. He scoots just close enough. Watch, he go a, little bit a little bit each time. We need a big one to come along and just swoop him up. Maybe this is it. Wow, how does he know? He stopped. He knows, it's like he knows. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he calculated wrong that time. Oh, man. Woo. Wonder how much food there is in something like that for, for him. I know. That's what we walked today. That cannot be right. That cannot be right. That is today. It was a 30 minute walk from. But we've walked to multiple beaches. In yeah, and out and in but. And out. Is the camera on? Yeah, are you, you sure that doesn't it? count your swimming? That counts your swimming. How would that count mileage in swimming? Honey? Because you're moving your arms in the water. It's not it GPS based water. because we don't have any signal out here. No, but it knows when I'm in water because it immediately starts to say it's calculated how deep we're in the water. Well, I know my left hip always starts to hurt after I've walked five and a half miles exactly. Uh -huh. And it started hurting earlier this evening. Well, okay. But I just thought that was all the climbing on the rocks. I wanted to say I'm probably going to have to sign off this vlog here, even though it's not even seven o'clock yet because it's just way too dark to be able to film anything. Almost nine miles. I'm going to have to ask Marshall and Mary if they feel like nine miles, almost nine miles sounds right. Because I could be way off. But then again, I feel like that just has to be way off, right? Mosquitoes are bad tonight. Okay. <laughs> did, did we tell them how we forgot our mosquito spray? And my brother brought DEET. Mm, We're not going to put that on. Here in this country. I can't believe it. We are not putting that on. So we're just kind of. Uh, but we're not sure if it, it might be in Mari's bag and Mari they didn't check. It, but we didn't need it today. They haven't it? been bad all day. No. They just get bad. They got bad yesterday, right about this time, and then it was all better after golden hour. Um, 